Jackson family. There's Mummy Shark, Baby Grub, Finn and Shelly too. And here's Daddy Shark. You almost forgot your lunchboxes. Well, remember Daddy Shark? Isn't Splashy Reef beautiful? It's so nice to ride the bus. Nice driving, Mr. Dugong. It's the angelfish. They're waving hello. Aren't their bright colours pretty? And Finn and Shelly are waving back. What's this? It's the seahorse family. Daddy seahorse loves the triplets very much, but they sure can be a handful. Oh, look, they've got away. Hurry up, Daddy. You better get them before they go too far. It sure is bumpy driving through the coral reefs. Hold on to those lunch boxes, Finn and Shelly. And don't lose your hat, Mr. Dugong. What's he seen now? Oh, it's only Tucker the turtle. Hello, Tucker. He's going to be late for school unless he gets a move on. Ah, look at Finn and Tucker pulling funny faces at each other. Here we are at Pearly Ridge School, just in time. And look, Donnie and Dolly Dolphin are waiting. Have a good day at school, guys. I wonder where the bus is driving to now. <laughs> I think Daddy's hat's too big for you, Grub. Oh, look, the bus has stopped at the recycling plant where Mummy and Daddy Shark work. Better take your work hat back now, Daddy. It's time to get to work. They keep the ocean clean, and Baby Grub loves to help, and he can. But what's this? Have you seen something, Baby Grub? Mummy and Daddy better follow him. A tin can? That doesn't belong at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, look, Mummy and Daddy have spotted some more rubbish to clean up. That's right, everyone. Put all that rubbish in the recycling bin. Wait, the recycling bin is moving. Oh, look, it's Bin Crab. He's helping too. He's taking the rubbish to the recycling plant. Well done, everybody. Bye, guys. Look, here's one, two, three, four, five little fishes. Look at all their bright colours. It must be so nice living in such a beautiful coral reef. Wait, what's this? All this rubbish doesn't belong here. Watch out, little fishes. There's so much rubbish now. I hope they can still swim out the other side. Phew, that was close. There's only four of them now. Oh, look, it's Mummy Shark in the super cleaning machine. She'll get rid of some of the rubbish. Look, the four little fishes are swimming off along the reef. They seem happy again now. Watch out, there's some more rubbish up ahead. Oh, dear. One, two, three. We lost another one. Oh, here comes Daddy Shark with his digger. That's it, Daddy Shark. Dig it out of the way. The three little fishes better be careful now. Oh no, there is some more rubbish ahead. Be careful, swim quickly through it. One, two, we lost another fish in the rubbish. There's Donny and Shelly playing in the reef. They look pleased to see the bright, colourful little fish. Uh-oh, there's another load of rubbish. Swim, guys. If you're fast enough, you might make it to the other side. That's it, well done. Oh, it looks like only one of them has made it through to the other side. Look, there's Tucker Turtle. He looks like he's having a lovely day. Oh no, the yellow fish has got caught up in a plastic bag. That's not good at all. What is it, Tucker? Have you got an idea? Yes, you must go and get some help to rescue all the lost fishes. Of course, it's Mummy and Daddy's job to clean up the ocean. They can find the fish and get rid of the rubbish. That's it, clean away that rubbish. Look, there they are. All safe and sound and happily back together. Well done, Mummy and Daddy Shark. That's right, everyone. If we clean up together, we can get rid of all the rubbish. Do your bit to keep the ocean clean and healthy. That's right, pop it into the recycling bin. Well done, everyone. Look, it's the Shark House with lots of bright colored letters floating around it. It's Finn and Shelly Shark. Hurry up, guys, or you'll be late for school. What will he learn today, I wonder? Could it be the alphabet? Do you remember how it goes? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, 
Y. And Z. Oh, look, it's Mrs. Octopus. Shelly and Finn have made it to school in time. Tucker is playing hopscotch in the playground. Come on, Tucker, playtime is over. Time to head inside. The letters are now floating further along the reef. The little fishes are having so much fun. Oh dear, look at all that rubbish that's floating in the ocean. The letters are getting stuck in it. Here comes Daddy Shark. I'm sure he'll find the letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. That's all of them. Nice work, Mummy and Daddy Shark. And thank you, Baby Grub, too. But now they've got their letters bagged up. I wonder what they're going to do with them. There's the shell bill. School is over for today. Wow, Mummy and Daddy Shark have put all the letters of the alphabet up outside the school. That will help the children learn their ABCs in no time at all. Bye, everyone. Welcome to Splashy Reef. Looks like Baby Grub Shark and some of his Baby Shark friends are playing on that giant clam. It's bouncy like a trampoline. Oh no! The red baby shark has fallen off and got a boo-boo. Mummy shark is calling the octopus doctor. I think the red baby will be okay. Got no more jumping on the clam bed. Now there's four little sharks. They're having great fun bouncing on the bed. Oh no! The little green shark has fallen off now. Daddy shark is here to take care of it. The octopus doctor is back. She says no more jumping on the bed. Now there are three little sharks jumping on the clam. Maybe if they're careful, then this time... Oh no! The little orange shark has fallen off and hit his head. Here comes the octopus doctor again. No more jumping on the clam, right little sharks? There's two little sharks left jumping on the clam now. Watch out little blue shark! Oh no! Not again! It's fin shark! He's here to help. Here comes the octopus doctor. No more bouncing on the clam, baby grub. There's just one baby shark jumping on the bed. Baby grub looks like he's having an amazing time. That's a really high jump. Uh-oh. Baby shark has hit his head. It's okay though. Mummy shark is here to kiss it better. The other baby sharks are okay too. Look, see? There's plenty of other ways to play other than jumping on the bed. It's old Mr. Dugong. He's adjusting the radio and his hat before he drives off. Mr. Dugon drives the whale bus, driving people all around Splashy Reef. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's Bin Crab. He recycles things by putting them in his bin. He'll recycle that can, if he can pick it up. There we go. Nice work, Mr. Crab. All aboard the whale bus, Mr. Crab. Let's go. What's the hold up? Oh look, it's Daddy Shark. He's hoovering the ocean floor, but I don't think he's noticed Mr. Dugong. Honk your horn, Mr. Dugong. There we go. Daddy Shark is pulling out of the way. Goodbye, Daddy Shark. And who's this? It's Tucker Turtle. He must have slipped in again. All aboard, Tucker. Mr. Dugong will wait. Tucker's chocolate bar sure looks tasty and crunchy, doesn't it? Oops. Good job, Tucker. It's important to recycle. Turn up the radio, Mr. Dugong. Let's listen to the music. It's a red light. Hold up, everyone. Look, the angelfish are blowing bubbles. Isn't that neat? And now it's a green light. See you later, angelfish. It's the shark family house. And there's Shelly Shark. Hurry to catch the bus, Shelly. Shelly and Tucker are blowing bubblegum. Watch it pop. Careful, don't blow the bubble too big or, oh dear, they popped in their faces. Here we are, we've arrived at the school. 
Off you go, Shelly and Tucker. Have a good day. Old Mr. Dugong is blowing bubblegum too. It's popped in his face, but he doesn't mind. Keep on driving, Mr. Dugong. There's the whole shark family driving their little digger trucks. One, two, three, four, five. All five of them. That's a lot of rubbish on the ocean floor for the shark family to clean up. Watch out, Finn. That's Mummy Shark. She's taking a truckload of rubbish back to the recycling plant so it can be recycled into new things. That helps to keep the ocean clean. How many digger trucks now? Let's count. One, two, three, Four, four digger trucks. That's little baby grub. He might be small, but he's still super keen to help clean up the ocean, though he is easily distracted. How many digger trucks now? Let's see. One, two, three, three digger trucks. Finn and Shelley like to prank each other, like all brothers and sisters. Looks like Shelley won this time. Careful, Shelly, that's a lot of rubbish. Nice one, Tucker Turtle. Thanks for the help. Now how many digger trucks are there? One, two, just two digger trucks. There's still plenty of rubbish to be cleaned up. Go on, Finn. Look at all those pretty angelfish. How many digger trucks are left? One, just one digger truck left. That's Daddy Shark. He'll clean up the last of the rubbish and make sure the ocean is clean. Now it's clean, all the sea life can play safely again. This is what the shark family do with all that rubbish. They take it to the plant, where it's safely processed and made into new things. That's recycling. Look, there's Mummy Shark fixing the window of the shark house. Oh, who's that swimming towards the house? It's Grub. He's coughing loudly. Mummy swims down to him. Grub is sick. He's feeling really unwell. Mummy tells him not to worry and takes him inside to rest. Mummy tucks him up tight in bed. Grub looks far too hot. Oh dear, his temperature is really high. Daddy Shark is here now. He tells Mummy not to worry and that Grub will be better soon. Daddy has medicine for Grub. Daddy plays Here Comes the Submarine, but Grub doesn't want to take it. He hates the taste of the medicine, but knows it will make him better. Daddy tells Grub not to worry and that he'll feel better soon. Daddy tucks Grub in tight. Mummy soothes Grub as she places a cold flannel on Grub's head. Oh look, Twinkle Starfish has come by to say hello. Grub says hi, but is too tired to do much more. He needs to rest to get better. Mummy and Daddy have a surprise for Grub. It's a cuddly toy fish. He'll drift off to sleep easier with this. Just another quick temperature check. It's getting lower, but not right yet. A good night's sleep and Grub will be all better. The next morning, Grub slowly stirs awake. He's delighted to find that his temperature and cough have gone. Hooray! He feels all better again. Oh, look! It's Tucker. Tucker and Grub can't wait to play with each other. Grub surprises Mummy and Daddy Shark at their digger trucks. They're both so happy to see that he is well again. Grub hops into his own digger and speeds off to join his parents. The Sharksons rev their engines. They are so excited for a great day's work. Pop, pop! Go the bubbles in the mud pool. Tucker the turtle swims up and dips in a toe. The mud is very warm and the bubbles tickle. 
Finn swims up to the bubbling mud pool and dives right in. Uh-oh, Tucker has lost his balance and he topples in. Whoa there, Finn, your spinning is making Tucker dizzy. Finn wants a mud fight and splashes Tucker. Oh no, Tucker's glasses are covered in mud. Let's just give them a quick wipe. There we go, Tucker can see perfectly again. Oh look, Shelly is here. She's so excited to jump into the mud pool. Whoa, what a great flip in. Cover your eyes from the splash, Tucker. You don't want dirty glasses again. What great fun they're all having in the mud pool. The gang are out of the pool, but they can't resist diving back in. The mud pool is so much fun. Daddy Shark and Grub are swimming up to the pool. Grub is so excited to join his siblings and Tucker. Grub swims up high and bang! He has accidentally hit Finn on the head. Luckily, it didn't hurt. The kids all flop back and start floating around on their backs. Daddy is very impressed. Good job, guys! Grub wags his tail too much and fires a huge splash of mud at Daddy. Now Daddy is filthy. Daddy swims over to the mud pool, scoops up Grub and whisks him away. Daddy has taken Grub to a hot bath. It's time to get him nice and sparkling clean. The other kids dive into the hot bath. It feels amazing to be clean again. It's time for Daddy to get back to work. But he isn't looking where he's swimming. Oh no! He's fallen into the mud pool! Daddy needs a hot bath at the beginning of school and all the kids are too tired to learn. Mrs Octopus has a smart idea though, musical instruments. All the kids are so excited and start grabbing instruments. Shelly is trying to get an instrument of her own but has no luck. The sardine twins, Patrick and Patricia, grab a couple of tambourines. They dance happily with them and make the tambourines jingle and jangle. Mrs Octopus tells the kids they're going to play the music outside. Shelly is annoyed. She still can't decide what instrument she wants to play. Shelly uses a bottle as a telescope, looking outside to see what her classmates are playing. Miles the Shrimp is playing the trumpet really well. He really is one cool jazz cat. Whoa, he played it a bit too hard there. The whole class are having great fun making music, except Shelly, who still doesn't know what instrument to play. Mrs Octopus is so happy with the class's work, but who's this she can hear playing now? Oh, it's Twinkle playing a magical guitar solo. Twinkle's guitar playing has inspired Shelly. Using seaweed and coral, Shelly makes herself a harp. Hooray! Shelly has found an instrument of her own and can now play with the others. Mrs Octopus is so happy that Shelly is involved. Now with the harp, the band is complete. The whole class is having such wonderful fun playing music together. They take turns having their moment in the spotlight. Mrs Octopus loves the performance. The class has made amazing music today and will all get top marks. Hooray!